60 years ago, Israel fought and won a war for its independence. For Palestinians, defeat was a catastrophe. The two sides have been fighting ever since. What happened 60 years ago still shapes lives in Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. If they want peace, they'll need to overcome the legacy of 1948. Gaza, home to 1.4 million Palestinians, most of whom are refugees from the land that became Israel. The current battleground in this long war lies in and around the Gaza Strip. Israel uses airstrikes and ground incursions. Palestinians rocket Israeli border towns. Both sides blame each other. Two miles to the north of Gaza, this is Kibbutz Yad Mordechai. Some of the thousands of rockets fired into Israel have landed here. History is never far away. This kibbutz or communal farm was founded in the 1930s by Jews from Poland. They were Zionists who wanted to return to the biblical home of the Jews to make a state. We build their society with our own hands by new forms of life, not only by high technology the kibbutzim and the development towns. Those are forms of life that without it you cannot understand what Israel is. We developed the best agriculture maybe on earth. The Zionists had neighbors, Palestinian Arab farmers who'd been working the land for centuries. The relationship between the two were normal and reasonably friendly. It was after 1930 with the massive land purchases with the massive immigration that the Palestinians became aware that their existence was a stake. In 1943, the kibbutz took the name of Mordechai Anilevich, the Jew who led the uprising in the Warsaw Ghetto against the Nazis. they swore Jews would never be defenseless again. There was no life in a camp like Auschwitz. So then I decided, should I survive? I become a Zionist activist. And by miracles, I did survive. Yad Mordechai has its own Holocaust museum. They've also preserved the field where they fought the Egyptians during the 1948 war. What happened here was a critical moment in the fight to create a Jewish state. Sixty years on, Israelis have a lot to celebrate. It's been an extraordinary feat of nation building. But for Palestinians, every year this anniversary reminds them of what they call their catastrophe. For them, the last 60 years has been about dispossession and exile. During Israel's independence war, around 700,000 Palestinians became refugees. They left everything, they left everything intact at their homes, everything. Some families even left their money, their jewels at home and ran, thinking that uh, the, the storm will calm down and in two or three or months will come back. But Israel stopped them returning. Many of Yad Mordechai's old Palestinian neighbors are still close by, refugees in the Gaza Strip. They call it the world's biggest prison. 
Here is a war which had led to the uprooting of a villager from his village. You know how attached a villager is to his uh, olive tree, to his little home, to his house, to his uh, mode of life, to his... It's, uh, it's something unimaginable. I mean, the Palestinian people are one of the oldest people in, uh, <coughs> in their habitation of Palestine. The Palestinians have to do some soul searching too. Why did it become a catastrophe? They could have accept most of the land, a state of their own. They refused, not us, in 1947. We cannot apologize for their mistake. In 1897, the Zionist movement in Europe met and declared that it wanted to found a state for Jews in Palestine. Two years later, the Arab mayor of Jerusalem begged them to leave Palestine alone and warned there'd be an Arab uprising if they didn't. After the meeting in 1897, two rabbis were sent to Palestine to see what the country was like. They reported back, the bride is beautiful, but she's married to another man. Some of the early Zionists warned that confrontation with the Arabs was going to be unavoidable. Others persuaded themselves that Arabs would be glad to see them because they were bringing with them European expertise. The majority of Palestinian Arabs live traditional lives in around 800 largely self-sufficient villages. Politics was local and tribal. Life was hard. These days in the